back to my channel so in today's video we're gonna be using both the big markers and the sharpie in one illustration kind of a collab between these two markers um, after I did the big versus sharpie a lot of people suggested that I use these two markers together so that is what we're gonna be doing in today's video let's see how well that goes so with that being said let's get into this video I'm going to be drawing in my Denise sketchbook. Um, I always get a whole bunch of questions of people asking me what sketchbook I'm using or where do I get my sketchbook. Um, it's just a Denise sketchbook. I will have a link in the description to where you can get it. I got mine in store from Michaels. I like them because they handle markers really good. Not so much with watercolor stuff like that, but markers, alcohol markers, they're really perfect for that. Anyways, I did go into this piece wanting to draw multiple characters, but I don't know what was going on with me that day. I just was not feeling it. I've done a whole bunch of sketches previous to the one I'm doing right now, but the composition was just not right. It was just not happening. Everything was like really, really wrong. <laughs> but I'm really glad I was able to like push myself to finishing this drawing because I went through a whole bunch of drawings and it was just not looking right. And I kind of just took a few steps back and I'm glad I was able to get something that I kind of like. So that's, that's, a, that's something. <laughs> And I usually don't draw two characters together and so having to do that on camera would just like another added pressure. And so like I feel like I just need more practice on that like figuring out a good composition to just have these characters look like they're interacting and not just like standing there together but like not feeling like they're together. <laughs> Which is what was happening and they just look like they weren't even a part of the same scenery. Ah, there's just so much to learn, but I'm actually really excited about this. I kind of like to set time to start practicing. Like, I try to draw every day, but I'm not like practicing every day. Like, actively trying to learn something new. I draw just because I'm having fun and I like drawing. Not really worrying too much about the anatomy or if I'm doing something correctly. So, I, f I feel like I need to have like a good balance between drawing for fun and like practicing. Practicing could be fun too, but I kind of forget to practice sometimes, which is not very good. So I kind of want to make time for that. I'm really sorry about that little white dry spot on my shirt over there. I don't know what it is, but it's so annoying. I'm just looking at it like, oh my god, go away. Just go away. But now it's gonna be there till the end of the video, so just excuse that. Sorry guys. I'm sorry. Also, I've been really liking these Art & Fly liners. Almost all of my microns are pretty much dead, especially the ones that I use often, like the 0 0.3. But I'm so glad I had these Art & Fly fine liners because they're doing really, really good. I had to add one more thing to this drawing just because the character was looking like, what is this girl doing? She's just standing there looking up with her hands up. So I was like, oh, she needs something in here. So I ended up just drawing this coffee floating in the air, but I guess it kind of works. <laughs> So starting off the coloring process with these Sharpies, I kind of have to use this pink skin tone again. Both of these markers don't really have good skin tones that I would think look like skin tones. The big marker one looks green and then the Sharpie one is like really dark and I won't be able to shade or add anything on top of that. So I was like, we'll just go with the pink. I'm gonna try and see if these markers have more colors because I'm hoping I don't have all of them. I'm sure I don't have all of them. There's more out there. I just gotta find them and add them to this marker collection. <laughs> so if I don't have an obvious good skin tone, I'm just gonna go with something that looks like it's done purposefully. So that's why I kinda went with the pink color. I was almost gonna go with like a light blue color, but I just thought I'd go with the pink just cause, I don't know, pink is like a summer color. And it's really easy to layer other colors on top of this pink color. Like the purple and blue color can easily layer on top of this quite nicely. But the one thing I would say is like this character doesn't even look like she should have pink skin. Like I think the next time I do this, I'll just have this character be some kind of a mythical creature. Maybe like a mermaid or maybe a demon character. Oh, that could be cute. But also it shouldn't stop you from drawing what you want to draw. So like if you want to draw a character like this, that's not supposed to be some kind of a mythical creature. It can be whatever you want it to be. And it wouldn't be wrong. My big markers are kind of dying, but I guess it's expected just because they're like three years old. <laughs> I literally just pulled them out for like that one video and you guys really seem to like them and you guys have big markers as well. And I really like seeing you guys' drawings, so keep tagging me in them because I like seeing what you guys come up with using these markers. Only tag me in big marker art. I don't want to see anything else. <laughs> 
<laughs> I'm just kidding. You can tag me in anything you want me to see. <laughs> I'll try to comment if I can. You definitely don't need expensive art supplies to make good art. I really enjoy using these markers. I've always enjoyed using these markers. Like I kind of forget that I have them just because I have other markers to choose from and I kind of just forget about them sometimes. But the love is coming back and I'm glad you guys like them too. So we'll continue using them. The character totally looks like such a mean girl. Like her pose and then her face is just like she's not having it. She ain't smiling. She, maybe she hasn't had her coffee yet or maybe it doesn't even taste good and that's why she's like tossing it like Get this out of my face. I kind of wanted like a happy summery kind of thing, which is why I gave her like this summery outfit because summer is like my favorite season ever. Like bring the heat, bring the sweat. I don't care. I'm here for summer. Summer's just the best season ever. Anyways, if I would have been brave, I would have at least drawn like some kind of a beach scene in the background at least, but nope. I actually went with a pretty simple background. Anyways, my favorite part of this whole drawing was definitely the hair. I really enjoyed coloring it. I like watching it come together, like the shading part. First the flat color and then the shading. I thought it came out really, really nicely. Those two colors just worked so nicely together. Oh, it was so good, so good. Overall, the big marker and the Sharpies worked really well together. I didn't face any kind of problem using these two markers besides the lack of colors to choose from. But besides that, the blending was really good between these two markers. I could easily blend the big and the Sharpies together, so no problems with that. Now I'm wondering what the results would look like if I didn't mix these two colors together. Like, would there be a big difference? I honestly don't think there would be just because, like, I don't know. Both of the markers are pretty vibrant colors, so I don't think there'd be a big difference. But at least now we know the markers work pretty well together, if we didn't know that before. <laughs> But most alcohol markers do work pretty well together, which is good for us since we get to choose from different marker brands and bring them together and know that they're not gonna like mess up or something. And just have that peace of mind knowing they're going to blend well with each other. Now I'm pretty much done with all the coloring. I'm just going back in and inking it. You know when you erase a line art, the line art kind of like disappears a little bit. So I'm trying to bring that back and making it bolder. And I'm also going around the girl and just making her pop out more with like a darker, heavier liner. I also want to do more of my liner instead of just having it all black. I'm really glad that Arteza sent me a box of their liner, so that's pretty cool. So you guys stay tuned for that. I just want to do a little more practice before I like come on camera. You know that digital look with like a colored liner? Like that's what I want to go for, so... I need a little bit more practice just to make it look like it's supposed to look with like the surrounding colors around it. It's a lot more work actually like having to switch out the colors but I think it'll be pretty cool. And maybe I could do like a comparison between a black regular line art that I usually do or a colored line art and then we can see what the difference between those two are. Can't wait to do that but yeah. I always color my digital line art but I guess I never thought about coloring my traditional work. Actually I think I used to color my traditional work and then maybe it just got too tedious for me and then I stopped doing it but I don't really remember that much of it so we'll see how we'll see how it looks anyway so I'm just adding in the final detail with the signal white ball pen and then after that I just color in a box of space as the background behind her just to cover up some space in the background So this is the final piece. The markers did work pretty well together and I like the results. So let me know what you think. So that is pretty much it for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys liked today's video and I will see you all in the next one. Bye guys. Thanks for watching.